you are forever, Lord of the ages, God before time. We are a vapor, you are eternal, love everlasting, reigning on high. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb who was slain, highest praises, honor. Unto your name, be unto your name. We are the broken, you are the healer, Jesus, Redeemer, mighty to save. You are the love song we'll sing forever. Bowing before you, blessing your name. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Highest praises, honor, and glory be unto your name. to your name. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb who was slain, highest praises on... Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. I'm Brandon Hathaway, the preacher at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we once more Open up our Bibles and study the Word of God as we continue to read throughout the New Testament, one chapter a day, Monday through Friday. Today we're in John chapter 3. If you want to go ahead and open your Bibles there, we'll be looking at a verse from John chapter 3. Before we get into that, I want to once more uh, invite everybody to our gospel meeting that will start Sunday. We're having Brother Sean Bain come and preach the Word of God. He has uh, given us uh, the lessons that he has chosen to use, and so I wanted to put that out there for anyone who uh, might be able to try to join us, uh, whether it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, uh, for one of these. And having the, the lessons there, that can, uh, of course, let you see uh, maybe uh, there's a certain title that sounds more interesting to you, and so you might choose to come during that day. But um, either way, we'd be more than happy to have you. Uh, we do plan on trying to make sure we stream the lessons on Facebook. So uh, if you're unable to join us, then please, uh, you can listen to the Word of God there also. Um, but we really enjoy having people come and be with us, to come and sing with us and teach with us, uh, uh, teach and admonish each other and just uplift each other. And so anytime that you're able to come and be with us in person, we'd love to have that. It'd be wonderful. So now we'll go ahead and look at John chapter 3. John chapter 3. And looking at verse 30. John chapter 3 and looking at verse 30 is what we're going to be looking at. And as you go through John chapter 3, you know, as, uh, as soon as you start reading it, I was tempted to start with, there with Nicodemus and his uh, question to the Lord, Jesus' answer being born again, being born of water, um, and as you continue to read through it, and then uh, you can go further into it, and there, there's just a lot of good stuff there, so please read the rest of the chapter, and if you come up with any questions, anything you'd like to study further into detail, I'd be more than happy to if you're willing to reach out to me. But this one small part here, Jesus is out teaching, and he is baptizing people, and John, of course, John the Baptist, was out baptizing people, and so his disciples, uh, John's disciples, had got caught up in being a little jealous and upset. He's like, someone else is over here baptizing people also, and everybody's going to him. And here is John the Baptist's response. He must increase, but I must decrease. John understood 
his role. Again, he, he told his disciples, you read through that whole part, he told him, he says, oh, you guys know that I'm not the Christ. I'm preparing the way. So therefore, whatever authority has been given to him has been given to him. Authority has been given to me. And so he understood his role. He understood that he's not the most high and that everybody's going to be coming to him. And if someone else can help further the kingdom, then let them further the kingdom. I must decrease and let the Lord increase. He had the right attitude there. And so many different ways that we can apply just those words. I know what he was talking about. But, you know, we, we have a hymn in our song books that, it starts off with all of me and none of him, you know, all, all, all I, all I want to do, everything is all about me, myself and I, and very little to do with Jesus or God or, you know, well, then as you get to the last song, you know, you change it each course. It, it changes as we study the word of God, we come to accept him that it's supposed to be, you know, no, it's not all of me or, you know, some of me, some of him. No, it's supposed to be all of him, none of me, you know, all of him, we're, to live is Christ. And so for him and his kingdom to further, for us to spread the word of God, we must decrease and let the Lord increase. We, we must let him, his commands and his light shine forth and put away our pride, our selfishness, our uh, making our desires his desires. And so, again, it's just uh, I think it's a good short sentence there. For us to remember that we must be willing to put ourselves under the Lord if you're going to serve him. So I hope that you have a good day. I truly do. And I hope that you read throughout that chapter and that if you have any questions that you will reach out to me. I'm even more than happy to study with you. Um, tonight, Today is Wednesday, so tonight we got Bible class there at Westside Church of Christ. If you'd like to come and join us in Bible class, we're... Uh, coming close to the end of our study in the book of Joshua, and then we plan on going into the book of Judges. If you desire to come and be with us and study Joshua, I doubt we get into Judges today. Um, so study the end of the book of Joshua. Um, and if we can uh, pray for you or anything else, please write them in the comments. Give me a phone call, text, email, whatever we can do for you. If you can let us know, we'd be more than happy to assist you if we're here for you. We are able to. So I thank you again, and I hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.